Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a new topic on research support on bibliometric analysis by Scopus. So Scopus database has got a lot of data which will be very useful when you are trying to publish good quality uh, papers in Q1 journals and Q2 journals. Okay, so basically you might have seen a lot of graphical representation of data in the papers. So these graphical representation of data will be very useful for understanding the data. So in case you have a graph and the same data is shown in the uh, form of a paragraph, it's always better to have a graphical representation. It gives you more understanding and it's more clear to understand. So let me give you some details about how to do this kind of analysis using Scopus database today. So most important thing when you talk about bibliometric analysis is how to do it, right? So basically it is uh, trying to explore huge amount of data, huge volumes of data which has already been published in Scopus database. So the papers which have been published in Scopus, only those papers will be reflected in this database. And using that as the backup, you can find out like in the particular field or particular domain where you're trying to write a research paper, how much work has been done till now. So based on that, about you can decide even about the number of years you want to decide on the analysis. So in that way, you have to do a little bit of uh, groundwork to find out what you want to search and uh, how you will go to search it okay so deciding the search criterion is your first important step so you need to decide so in case i'm gi i'll give you an example of my own paper which we had written on microplastic so i need to decide on what particular topic here i can uh, draw a graph to show that there is an importance of this particular study okay so there i can decide since i had uh, written the paper on microplastic we decided that the topic will be microplastic, its toxicity and how much papers have been done in this particular field. So deciding the criterion, the search criterion will be your first important step. So once you have decided what you want, you can log into your Scopus database. Okay, in the Scopus database, there will be an advanced option which is not there for everyone, but few of the people will have it. So using that uh, advanced search option, you can do this kind of bibliometric analysis. So once you log in, you need to do the data collection. I'll show you a demo how to do it. So once you do the data collection, the data analysis has to be done. And then finally, presentation of data. So when it comes to presentation, we know we have different uh, things for presenting data. You can use Excel, you can use uh, uh, Origin. So there are a lot of uh, tools available for presentation of data. So I will show you uh, in simple Excel how to plot the graph. So uh, in this way, you can try to do a lot of bibliometric analysis, which will be useful for publication of research articles. So now let me show you a demo of it. So first of all, you need to go to the Scopus database as I told you. So I've already logged in. Okay, so you can see there is an option here, search. Okay, so once I press search, I come to this particular page. Okay, the first you will be in sources once you log in. It will be in sources page, but I can come to search page. Okay, so now I've already come to the search page. So this is the option where I'm supposed to type the details. So now I will write microplastics. Okay, so I can give the search. Okay, so before that, let me show you that paper which I'm talking about. So this is the paper that we published in Marine Pollution Bulletin. It's a review paper with the impact factor of 7. So this paper, we had plotted a bibliometric analysis. I'll just show you that. Yeah, here. Can you see these graphs? Here, right. So you can see research articles on microplastic from 2000 to 2020. This years you can decide once you uh, do the search based on the number of data available with you. You can decide how many years you want to include in the graph. Okay, so that is left to you. But what topic you want, as I told you, microplastics, microplastic toxicity. So since this review was on microplastic and its toxicity and degradation, we have taken these particular topics itself for the analysis to show that this particular study is very important and a lot of research is happening in this particular area. 
okay so you can see the data is shown from 2000 to 2022 so this will tell you how many publications have already been there over the years in this particular topic so this is microplastics and b tells you about microplastic toxicity so you can see the number of papers is going on increasing in this area which tells the significance of the present review and here you can see the third one that is c is the microplastic removal or degradation so any research work which has been focused on microplastic removal or degradation technologies so all those papers will be included in this particular search so x axis is the number of years and y axis is the number of publications so this is the year in which it is published in the scopus database and this is the number of publications so you can see over the years it's going on increasing so this will definitely help you in uh, telling about the significance of this particular study or this particular review so now coming back to the scopus database microplastics have already given the search so you can see now some papers have been coming here okay so what you have to do is you have to press this analyze results so once you press this analyze results you can see i can select the range of years that i want right so the papers are available from 1978 to 2024 but you can see the nature of the graph 23 24 the there is a decline because it is recent so there might be little decrease in the papers and 24 is not yet come so you can decide whether you want up to 2022 because 23 also is not complete so definitely the number of papers is going to be slightly less so till 2022 i can decide i want from 2000 okay and i can press analyze so now you can see you can see the increasing trend right so that will help you in telling the study's significance or the importance so similarly you have other ways of representing the data like you can uh, have documents by authors documents by affiliation you can even uh, in case you want to show that the highest research in this particular area has happened in which country if you want to signify that in your review article then you can include this data also so that is what I'm telling a lot of little bit of analysis of these data are required so that you decide what you want to put in the review paper that you are trying to publish. Okay, so we had taken only this data. So in case you want to show the country wise uh, publications also then this data also will be useful for you. Now let me show you with this one data that I have here. Okay, so once I am deciding I want this data I have to export the data. Okay, so I can export as CSV file. So once I do that, the CSV file gets downloaded. Okay, so I can open that file. So you can see the data is already here within 2005 to 2022. So you can decide what years you want. So I think it was selected from 2005, not this one second, analyze. export okay so you can see the data has come from 2005 here one second Okay, so you can try to make it in ascending order, sort from smallest to largest. Okay, and then I can decide what I how I want to plot it. So I can just plot a scattered plot like this. Okay, so that depends on you whether you want a bar graph or a scattered plot. You can decide how you want the data. And then you can beautify the graph. Okay, so you can make it bold. Right, you can change the axis. So maybe from 2005, since the data has come from 2005, I will include from 2005 to 2025. Okay, and x axis will be. 
year and y axis will be the number of publications you can see how many publications has happened in that particular year right so this gives you the details of that year and number of publications now the graph is ready just i can remove the border and i can paste this in the document wherever i have my review article and give proper legend to it so similarly we had done for this paper so i had already shown you the paper you can see we had plotted a uh, uh, bar graphs using origin so you can see this is for just microplastic microplastic toxicity and microplastic removal and degradation so this will give you a overall idea about how to do this kind of uh, bibliometric analysis and this will be very useful when you are publishing uh, review articles to tell you about the significance of the study how much research has been happening in this particular field so using that concept this kind of bibliometric analysis can be done very easily using scopus database okay so i think this is clear now so coming to the take away messages we have seen how easily we can do this kind of bibliometric analysis so priorly when i didn't know how to do this when i was uh, seeing some review articles i used to think they used to search each and every paper see how many uh, publications has been done in that particular journal in that, like that way they were uh, collecting the data and doing it but once i got to know this this has been very useful and it will be very useful for publishing good quality uh, papers for good quality review articles which will even be published in q1 journals we have already tried that so please uh, try to use these kind of bibliometric uh, analysis tools which will be make, making your life easy by uh, helping you uh, get huge amount of data within some clicks of the button so this requires some uh, kind of analysis i believe okay so i have already shown you how to decide so you can decide based on what topic you have selected so there you can decide and you can put appropriate keywords so when it is uh, microplastic and toxicity i need to type there microplastic and toxicity and similarly microplastic and degradation so when i put these keywords i will get some hits so based on that you can even write few lines on how many papers have been published in that particular topic and within those uh, years how much uh, publications have been happening so in this way i think this would be very very useful for publishing so thank you for watching thank you for supporting me if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel please like the video and please share this video with the research fraternity so that if anybody wants to do this kind of bibliometric analysis for their review articles this video will be of definitely some help to them thank you